Hey guys, this is Vino91, and I'm talking about Nintendo's E3 Direct. Now, Nintendo, as you may know, doesn't have their regular like E3 conference. They instead just have a Nintendo Direct. And this year's was pretty good. It's like Square Enix Direct was pretty good, and Nintendo was like, hold my drink. They talked about Smash DLC characters, they talked about different games that were coming to Switch, and there were just so many, I can't even really name them all or anything like that, because... When I thought they were done talking about games, they still had more games to talk about. They had a scissor reel that showed so many games coming to Switch and some third-party games that were announced in other conferences like Minecraft Dungeons and Dragon Quest Builders 2. There were just so many games there and they showed so much gameplay. Even during the scissor reel, you didn't see much trailers. You saw some, but not much. You saw a lot of gameplay during this press conference and there were some surprises along the way, such as No More Heroes, Three being announced during the press conference. It wasn't shown at any other press conferences to my knowledge, so it was cool to see No More Heroes 3, an actual sequel, it would seem, being announced at the Nintendo E3 Direct. And also, one game that caught my eye that was a surprise to me was Super Lucky's Tale. That's an Xbox exclusive, yet it's coming to Nintendo Switch. That was just very weird to me. I understand that Nintendo and Microsoft have this, like, partnership going, but for, like, Super Lucky's Tale to make its way on the Switch, that just shows this partnership is kind of reaching new levels. And speaking of the partnership, here's the biggest surprise of all, which they sort of ended with. Banjo-Kazooie. Yes, they showed Banjo-Kazooie coming to as a Super Smash character. And what made it even better was that they trolled us for a second because when you thought it was Banjo-Kazooie and you were like, oh, Banjo-Kazooie, then all of a sudden you saw it was Duck Hunt Dog and that, that was a big time troll. But then they revealed, yes, Banjo-Kazooie is making its way to Smash Brothers. And to me, this kind of shows that maybe Banjo-Kazooie, a proper game, could eventually make its way to Nintendo Switch. I'm not saying that just because it's on Smash that it basically confirms that Banjo-Kazooie is coming back to Nintendo, like, proper. But I am saying this kind of opens the door for a possible Banjo-Kazooie proper game on a Nintendo console. And that would be greatness. It would be greatness to once again have Banjo-Kazooie on Nintendo. I don't know where they named it Banjo 3 and it would be a proper sequel to Banjo 2E, but having Banjo Kazooie on Smash at least, to me, gives the possibility that we could get a proper Banjo Kazooie game on the Switch would be really cool. But other than that, this was just a great direct. It showed so many games. Even The Witcher 3 is making its way on Switch and how graphically high that game is. If that game is making its way on Switch, I think almost any game could make its way onto the Nintendo Switch. And what I really like about Nintendo with E3 is that unlike the other companies, Nintendo tends to more show games that are coming out soon. Like a lot of the games they showed are coming out this year. Some are coming out as soon as next month. And, and it makes the Direct to me more exciting that you know you don't have to wait so long for these games to actually come out. So kudos to Nintendo. You guys, to me, yeah, you guys won E3 this year. I can't say it officially, but to me, Nintendo basically just came out and was like, we're going to show y'all how this is done. Anyway, what do you guys think about the Nintendo Direct, and what was your biggest takeaway from it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.